How's it going, guys? Your boy Raymaker here. And in today's video, we have a quick unboxing for you. So I got I went to Walmart yesterday. I was trying trying to look for, you know, some of the recent basics that recently came out. Like, you know, the one that includes Keith Lee and um who else is in the set and like Rey Mysterio and stuff. And there was one figure from that wave that I was very interested in. Besides the Keith Lee, of course. And that is the Elite Series 104, the wifey, Alexa Bliss. I don't know if you guys know, but Alexa Bliss, my favorite female superstar in the roster right now. I've been a fan of, co of her for like a couple years now. I have her, her Extreme Rules plaque in my room. I will show you guys, but it's like all the way up over there with my other plaques from the man. I've met her once. She was completely nice, super nice. Um, I told her that, that she was my favorite uh, female superstar of all time. I guess I made her blush. You know, we're pretty much dating now. You know? <laughs> um, yeah. So we have the figure here. But before we get started, please like this video. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe for, for more content. And let us get this thing started. And also, before I forget, please subscribe. Subscribe. Follow my Instagram page at Rainmaker Figs. It's there. If you guys want to f follow and look at the pictures I be uh, posting, go f be free and do do what you gotta do. Cause some pretty, there's some pretty decent stuff there. It's pretty much just thumbnails, but sometimes I like I'm just on the Instagram story. I'll be uploading stuff. But nonetheless, that's neither here nor there. We're here for the Elite Series 104 Alexa Bliss. So first, let's look at this render right here and tell me, this is not the be the most beautiful woman you ever seen in your life. I know it's probably, it's probably too cringy, but it's straight up facts. So on the front of the packaging, we have, you know, her name, a render, and the figure itself. This is the first Alexa Bliss figure we get in, you know, like her non-gear attire, you know. Besides the, you know, the Saudi Arabia one. And I think that's, I think that's the only one, yeah. They, they didn't come like in her traditional uh, in-gear attire. But we have, we have like, an, you know, when they're not wrestling... Attire, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I would, I would say in the side, but you know, just cardboard. And then on the back, we have the rest of the figures in the wave, which are is the Daniel Bryan, the Rey Mysterio, the Randy Orton, and the Keith Lee. All these three are pretty much, you know, nobody's gonna get. But the Keith Lee and the Alexa Bliss are the most have from the set, I would say. But when I went to Target, they the only thing they had was the Alexa Bliss and the Rey Mysterio. I'm guess people are not buying it. But it's a super, let, I'll see if, to see if it's a super good figure. But it, people should get it because, you know, it's a different type of Alexa Bliss that we're not used to getting. And because of that, people start getting it. So now look at this thing on box and see what the figure looks like. Here you guys, we have the figure out of the packaging. But before we, we start going in-depth into this figure, let me just say, this is the worst Alexa Bliss head scan to date. Golly. Look at that head scan. It completely looks nothing like her. Come on, Mattel. You guys spent all this money on this FX and all this, you know, new and improved uh, technology to make the figures look just like the person. And you give us this head scan? Jesus Christ. Come on, Mattel. It's so bad. God damn. I, I will be head swapping this from to one of my earlier Alexa Bliss... Uh, Head scans that I have because those those look way better, and this one is just god awful. So that's my rant on the head scan. It's bad, like it's just bad. Now let's go to the rest of the figure. As you know, have have you gotten this type of uh, torso on the basic before? I don't know. I don't collect basics, and if I do, it's pretty much just the female figures that haven't gotten the leads yet. Like the Iconics and uh, who else? And I picked up the Ronda Rousey too because her first ever figure in Mattel. But oh, and you know, like the the first time in the Alliance figures, obviously. But yeah, here we have, you know, just some black arms. Uh, man, these things are stiff, man. I don't know why Mattel makes all the basics super stiff, like in the knees especially. Man, they'd be like stiff, man. So yeah, we you know she has a suit. Torso. 
She has black uh, leggings or pants, whatever you want to call them. You know, should be bigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, she has some black boots. Looks like she's wearing, you know, some brand boots, which are cool. This fit, the bottom half of this figure would be good to use for if you're trying to make like a custom uh, uh, Io Shirai figure. This, this is probably the best molding um, lower legs that you can use for that. She has like gold like dots on her like little suit shirt thing she has on. But that's pretty much it because the rest of the figure is just a, you know, black. Now let me bring some of the, of the, the other figures in the, the other, uh, my bad, the other Alexa Bliss figures to compare it with. Here we have the Basic Series 85 Alexa Bliss. But you could tell, man, that head scan is way better than that. Tell me I'm wrong. That's the head scan I'm going to be swapping to this body just to see how it looks like. And we have her la her most recent Elite, the Walgreens exclusive one. And this one, they use FX on this one. Tell me that in a little better. That's way better than that. Look, look. Look at that. Look at that. And then look at this. Oh, my God, Mattel. At least we could do head swaps, right? But yeah, it's a good figure. I would highly recommend it. If you're into, you know, female figures or Alexa Bliss like I am, she should pick it up as a must cop. But yeah, the only thing that I would give this figure, let me let me see what rating I would give this figure. I'd probably give this figure like 7 out of 10, 7.1 out of 10. The only thing that makes it work bad is the head scan. But yeah. Man, I hope look at this thing standing up. There you go. So I hope you guys like this video. Drop me a comment down below. And coup de gras subscribe button for more. Oh, and before before we leave, I just want to say sorry for not making a video in the last week or so, I think, more or less. Um, I've been uh, struggling thinking of ideas of stuff you guys want to see. So if there's anything you guys want to see, because I collect more than just the uh, WWE figures. I also collect the Power Rangers Lightning Collection and some Funko Pops. So if you guys want to see some of that content in this channel, just let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.